Hi, I'm Bharat Rangan and you're watching Film Companion Reviews. Today, we are going to talk about Sakawa, directed by Siddhartha Shiva. Sakawa. Sakawa Krishna. The nutshell version of Sakavu, which means comrade, brings to mind or a Mexican aparata released barely a month ago. Both films are about communism, more specifically the before and after arc of a happy-go-lucky youth. And both films feature their leading man, Tovino Thomas there, Niven Polly here, in a double role. But Sakavu is a more sober, more earnest affair. Even its cinematography, the beautiful warm hues by George C. Williams is more subdued. The film begins with Krishna Kumar, Nivin Polly, storming out of his house because he found a strand of hair in his food. This spoiled child behavior only increases. He is the joint secretary of the local communist outfit and he dreams of a district level post, but he seeks shortcuts. Even what people call him is a shortcut, Kichu. What better way to show this newbie communist the error of his ways and what old school communism is really about than to pack him off to the local hospital to donate blood. For there, in the ICU, lies comrade Krishnan, Niven Polly again, whose inspiring story is revealed through a series of flashbacks. In a different time, Krishnan, no shorter name for him, was appointed by the Kotem District Committee to strengthen the color red among tea plantation workers. And the film's first half spends an inordinate amount of time on his efforts. This long stretch is both a plus and a minus. Plus, because it tells us where so many socially conscious Tamil films go wrong and come off like sermons instead of movies. By spending all this time with Krishnan, we are immersed in his life, in his ideals. And he earns the right to make these speeches about unions and how EMS Namudri Path came into power and how workers are entitled to bonus and gratuity, things like that. It's not just someone appearing before us and wagging a well-meaning finger. A persona is developed and these lectures become organic offshoots of this persona. The minus is that none of this is new. But things begin to come together in the second half where the political fuses with the personal. In other words, an abstract ideology is given a concrete human dimension with individuals we begin to care about as opposed to nameless faces masses. The Aishwarya Rajesh character we've seen just before as one among many is singled out and she gets a name, Janaki. Her acceptance of Krishnan as a leader and as a husband leads to the film's most touching moments. It's never easy living with very principled people. It's far easier to follow them. But Sakhavas isn't interested in presenting Krishna as a textured, three-dimensional individual. The closest he comes to being flaws and all human is when he makes a promise of marriage and later admits he wasn't serious about it. Otherwise, he's a saint. But this aspect doesn't bog the film down because it treats Krishna less as a character than an archetype. A masala movie hero to be precise. This leads to some embarrassing stretches, the too easy transformation of a couple of villains in the first half or a ridiculous fight sequence near the end. But the whistle-worthy moments really, really work. Like this one, where an upper caste landowner asks Krishnan his name and upon hearing the mononym Krishnan, he slyly asks if there is no tail like Nair or Nambudri. Krishnan replies that his caste and his faith aren't behind his name, but right up in front. He's Sakhavu Krishnan. Niven Polly plays Kichu as a standard twinkle in the eye Niven Polly character and he makes Krishnan a graver presence. He looks heavier too. Save for the final stretches where the character ages and we see the effort, it's a fine performance that affects us as much due to the actor as the part which transcends its simplistic conception and speaks to our times. Sakhavu may be idealistic, even simplistic, but it nonetheless warms the heart. I'm going with three stars. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion Reviews and for everything else that's film related, go to Film Companion.